Well, it looks like we could be at a, a year that's worse than we've ever seen before. Uh, 1988 was, of course, the drought that everyone within the towing industry talks about because the river was closed for so long and in so many different places, and we, we it was a real struggle to keep traffic moving. And talking to the Corps and to the industry folks who were, you know, trying to keep things moving at that point, they're telling me things look, you know, either the same as or worse than they did in 1988. I know when I came into the industry about 13 years ago, 1988 was the year they talked about and continued to talk about until until now. All right, we're talking primarily on the Mississippi, uh, and are we specifically talking about the lower Mississippi being uh, uh, historically low or getting to that point? Actually, it's the entire river system. Uh, we're seeing lows on the Ohio River uh, where it comes into the Mississippi River. We're seeing a lot of, of problems of concern in the lower Mississippi right now where part of the traffic is either shut down partially or uh, completely almost every day in one or two places. And assuming we we don't have any more uh, rainfall, which it doesn't look like we will, I mean, the experts are, experts are predicting at least two to three more months of this drought, uh, the the flows out of the upper Mississippi River continue to go down drastically. At, at this point, the one good piece of uh, good news is the Missouri River, as the water is being re released from the reservoir system to uh, make sure that navigation can continue on the Missouri River, we're seeing that really impact the St. Louis Harbor and the Middle Mississippi. Uh, in 1988, almost 90 percent of the water going by the arch was coming out of the Missouri River and it's not unlikely that we'll see that same scenario this year. How are barge operators compensating? I mean I guess you try to get to the it may be a narrow channel but you find uh, water depth that you can operate in and uh, obviously that slows things down, restricts traffic. Yes it does. Everyone is light loading at this point and what that means is on the lower Mississippi, where barges are typically loaded to 12 feet or more, they're presently being loaded to 9 feet or less. And you see a tow on the lower Mississippi, not unusual to have 45 uh, barges in a tow. Now, you know, there's absolutely no more than 30 uh, barges in a tow. Most of them are less than that. And when you think about the impact on that, it's, it's pretty severe because just one inch out of one barge is 17 tons of cargo or, you know, essentially an entire semi-truck. And so when you do just one inch on a 15-barge tow, uh, you're looking at over 200 tons of capacity. And so you're obviously looking at an increase in cost to move freight. And that freight moves up and down the river both. So sometimes we think of just moving down the river, but also there's traffic up the river, which is important as well. A absolutely. There's a lot of things that come in from the Gulf that are the basic building materials for the Midwest, you know, things like cement, sand, gravel. And so it's really hurting not just the agricultural community, but, but really the, the real basis of the economy of the Midwest at this point. Lynn, what else can barge operators do other than uh, have lighter loads on the barges? Well, we're talking to the Coast Guard and the Corps on almost a daily basis, uh, trying to figure out where we need to be proactive in dredging and what we can do to, to make sure the traffic keeps moving. Unfortunately, because of the Corps' O&M budget, they're no, they can no longer be quite as uh, proactive as they were back in 1988. And so Oftentimes what we're seeing is we have to wait for a grounding before we can see the dredges come in and move some of that and reopen the waterway. So we're concerned that because of the budget situation, that's what we'll be seeing the entire drought season is just, you know, there'll be a grounding, there'll be a river closure, and then we'll have to wait for the dredges. And that's, that is not a good outcome for anybody that moves things on the river or for the towing industry.